What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Gamescoop Plays. I'm Damon Hadfield, joined by Jared Petty. Hi, fellow cavemen. Today we're playing some Bonk's Revenge, because recently on Gamescoop we were uh, talking about prehistoric games. Absolutely. And this is one of the best. This is one of the best uh, prehistoric games, yeah, probably of all time. This game is really fun. Let's jump right into it here. We're going to play the uh, complete game. Yep, whole thing. Uh, it was kind of cool that they had a mode for like younger players in there. Yeah. Really colorful. So this was the second Bonk game on the TurboGrafx-16. And uh, the first one, honestly, isn't all that good. It has some good ideas in it. It's pretty, but it's not that. This one's much better designed, a lot more verticality. This is a very fun game. Lots of really fun animations, and the music's great. Yeah, absolutely. Cool uh, game mechanics, too. You've got this uh, headbutt mechanic sort yeah. of built around that. And you can you can get up in the air and get some air time with that. You also got this cool thing where you eat meat and get angry yep. and like get spit fire. That's like the uh, equivalent of the the star in Mario Brothers. Exactly. It's, it's it's just a lot of fun and flavor to it. I, I really enjoyed. It. Bonk was uh, was the closest that NEC ever got in the states to making the TurboGrafx a success. In Japan, the PC Engine was actually a really big deal. It came out earlier there than it did here, but here in the states, it never got any traction. Bonk was their mascot for a little while. Uh, uh, after, do you remember Johnny Turbo? Um, mm -hmm. That was their first marketing effort. That didn't work. So like, Here you know, in the States? I don't remember yeah, Johnny, Johnny Turbo. Johnny Turbo. And they're like, you know what? Let's go with the cute caveman. Mm. Uh, and they, I think they did a good job with that. So, here I we thought go. it was supposed to be Keith Courage. Oh, Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. That was the pack-in. Yeah. But uh, Johnny Turbo was their actual marketing, uh, marketing character. But they tried Bonk, and it didn't work, but we did get this wonderful, wonderful game over here. Um, this is the second one in the series. Now, Bonk wasn't just on the Turbo Graphics; You here. could find him on other platforms, too. But uh, this is, I, I think, just about the best thing he ever did. So His spinning headbutt can also be sort of a... Sort of a it can help to slow your descent. Maybe. Yeah. And there's times that becomes very important. Um, sorry, pop Eat oh. some meat. There we go. So now you can spit these, uh, these little things that freeze dudes out. They... Destroy them while they're helpless. Oh, but you lost it when you got hit there. So you see you got a life bar in the top left corner, but you lose your powers if you get hit once. So fortunately the power-ups are fairly generous. Like this music here too. The, I love the, all this music. Yep. There's this kind of wonderful, colorful flatness. I don't know what this guy's problem is. Yeah, oh, he's weird. The uh, the TG sixteen was an eight bit processor with a sixteen bit uh, set of graphics processors and this, oh I love this. This is a great moment. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, that's so wonderful. There's just all these delightful little things like that in the yeah. game. Stuff that didn't have to be there, but that makes yeah. it so much better. And there's this. You're like, I'm angry. I'm an angry caveman. There you go. Terrible. Hey. Look at that. Nicely done, dude. Grab some delicious fruit here. But yeah, the Get out of here. There's this kind of neat art style to the, to the whole console, the, this vibe you got. Some of that's at Hudson supervised producing a lot of these and kind of the similar vibe th from the art there, but also just sort of an 8-bit flatness with this pretty color palette. I love it. Man, they're a little harsh. When you start a new level, they don't replenish your health, do they? No, they don't. Uh, they don't fool around. It's caveman times. I mean, let's see. Grab a little bit of life there. All the little fruits help you with that. don't know this how is, this boulder is going uphill. Gravity was different uh, back then. That's uh, that's. Uh, but it's coming back, so uh, I mean that's that's a cool too. Also, we learned uh, that I think those little drops are actually dangerous. Yeah, don't let the drops hit yep. your head. The tiny, tiny little drops. Oh, there you go, nicely done. All right, there you go. Get some life. Look at that. We filled that bar. Out of danger now. What magnificent. There we go. Oh, okay. Now Huge chunk of meat. Full now rage. We're totally in invincible. And this is like Starman time. You breathe fire. You stomp on things. Lava has no effect. Oh. Oh, oh, I'm hitting the trigger. I'm playing with the Wiimote, and the trigger also was uh, your headbutt move. Oh, crap. I'm sorry, dude. This guy ah! sucks. If he gets you, it just absolutely sucks. I wanted to hit him. It's a bunch of your life away. Come on. Oh, no. Escape. Escape. Ah! Escape. Oh. So close. Got to get that fruit. This side. Come here. Come here. Nice. Oh, he takes more than one hit. Ah! Oh! <laughs> you destroyed your enemy, but you he destroyed you. If you run out of health, he falls asleep, and then he waits for you to hit the start button. All right. It's like, hey, wake up. He's very polite that way. Yeah. Maybe you need to, like, wipe your hands off. They got a little sweaty. Yeah, maybe so. It's like, what What killed you might still be hanging around, wait for it to walk up. There you go. One more hit. You can do it. So the guy who's boss. Nicely done. Dinosaurs are such jerks sometimes. Uh, can I hit this guy from, from below? Yeah. I think so, yeah. Bounce them off here. Something about this section right here makes me think of um, like ghouls and ghosts. I don't know why. 
There's that guy again coming around. Look at that size of that heart. That is a non-subtle life-gaining item right yeah. there. Now, up here on the left, uh, these yellow things, that's Jack Frost. Oh, we saw him for a second there from uh, the uh, mascot for Atlas, so he shows up in the Mega Ten games. Atlas helped with the original Bonk's Adventure, uh, but they didn't, I don't think they did anything on Bonk's Revenge, but Jack Frost was in the first game, and he just kind of made his way in as like a forgotten icon into this one, too. So I'm not familiar with Jack Frost. Yeah, he's the uh, he's this little character that's Atlas's like, corporate mascot, and he shows up in uh, some of the Mega Ten properties. You ever heard of Jack Brothers? Nope. Okay, so that too. Um, Ooh, I want that. Yep. Yeah. What's yep. that meat? Yep. There yep. you yep. go. There he is up there again. That's Jack Frost hiding up there. So these dinosaurs, what, what? In the in the real life struggle between caveman and dinosaur, Damon, who reigns supreme? Well, we. I mean, uh, <laughs> only, <laughs> only one of us are still here. That's true. So. That's true. And uh, we. <laughs> I don't think we actually coexisted, but I like to imagine we did. It would just be fun that way. I would really, really like to have a pet dinosaur. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, I, I wonder. Can you can you domesticate them? In uh, in like in life in general? Yeah. Or, yeah, I think so. Yeah, absolutely. You could, I think some dinosaurs have. Uh, if you can have a pet bird, I think you can have a pet dinosaur. You know, it's probably never going to be completely subjugated though. Let's see, which is good. You don't this want this heart. There you go. Also, the uh, ancient world's delicious French fries, burgers. It's amazing. Burgers and fries were also very important in this period of time. Uh, you know, it's, we... Uh, Jared, burgers and fries are still important. That's true. But I, I, they, they, re they maintain their cultural relevancy. Absolutely. <laughs> heading here through the lob there. And the platforming gets a little trickier. You saw how it was fairly easy earlier on, but now you're having to actually do some pretty precision stuff. So where's this, this game is awesome. It is. It's a great game. Really is. Oh, there's Jack up there. There I go, get him. Oh, no. oh. oh. Do that a couple times. What do you like about it, Damon? What drives you to it? What is there not to like about this game? I love the uh, uh, unusual mechanics of having the headbutt. Yeah. I love the little animations. Love the music. And I think we're almost has, to the... Has a lot of personality. Man, I lost that meat. Oh, that's not good. You want that meat if you can get it. We're almost to the boss, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, there's the boss evader, right? Yep. You got to take right. the boss evader down to the take boss. Take the boss evader down to the boss. Bonk, bonk's just smiling there. He's like, yep, I made it. All right. This music's really good. Okay. okay. Let's see. So the, not not the volcano from Gradius, but reminiscent. It's this kind of random barrage. And then, oh! Oh, he's tricked me. He's a, I was on the wrong side. He's a turtle monster. Yeah, look at that. There you go. You got that down. But now yeah. he's going to be on the other side. Yeah. got to get over here. Shoot. Uh-oh. Can't afford to fall in the lava, Jared. No, you can't. Oh, good. Okay. Nice. Okay, you don't have to. Yep. You can see which way he's facing there. He's kind of got like an Iggy Koopa vibe going on there. Oh, oh I was oh, doing it wrong. That's well, much, I, that's I much didn't know you could do that. Easier way of doing that. I have never done that. I had no idea that worked. So here come these. All right. So, uh-oh. There you go. There you go. So check this out. It's like showing how it's done, huh? Oh, look at that. Oh! Nice. Oh, he hit you on his yeah. way back in. Yeah, be careful of that. Yeah. Still, your I your uh, diving headbutt must do more damage because I didn't yeah. have to hit him that many times when I was doing that method. Okay. Oh. Still, it's pretty rad. There we oh, go. Oh, there you go. One more. That was all it took. Drat. Drat. He says. Drat. Like, Indeed. Look how much personality this uh, boss has. It's lovely. It's just it's like a comic book. It's absolutely fantastic. There you go. Oh. Let's see. Oh, weird. Oh. What? Oh. I think, we I, think I messed wrong. up there. Yeah, I think we did something wrong. I think I, I got off right. at the wrong floor. The Piranha River. I don't... Hey, don't go in the Piranha River. No, I think that's a poor choice. Bonk, turn back now. Notice your life bar is not restored automatically know, from the last man. stage. I it's beat like, a boss. Can't catch like, a break no. over here. It's like, no. That guy. It's like, that guy's a jerk. All right. Going along here. I just want to play Bonk's Adventure all, or Bonk's Revenge all day. There's the biggest Mario Bricks ever. There. I, know, I see the piranhas. Yeah, so the TG16 is such capable hardware. I've heard people be like, oh, it's not a real 16 bit system because of its 8 bit 6502 processor. Shut up. It's a great <laughs> system. It was very capable. What's this thing? What's this thing? Oh, what do we have here? Um, it, it was 500 <laughs> points. <laughs> Mystery solved. Another thing I like about Bonk is that exploration is usually rewarded. There's all yeah. kinds of stuff hidden up in usually. the sky or down in little corners. So Have you ever seen the movie Piranha? Uh, yo, yes, absolutely. 
Yep. I, I'm a big fan of Piranha. Uh, where did you fall on uh, Piranha 3D with Elizabeth Shue? Oh, I didn't yeah. see that one. Uh, you should watch that. Yeah. That's uh, that's actually worth... Yeah, you like a good cheesy uh, slasher yeah, flick? Of course, of course. Totally worth your time. That's, that's one of the good ones? Yep, yeah. Uh, I saw Piranha when I was a kid. It scared the hell out of me. Uh, I didn't like getting in lakes after I saw this and child. Same thing. I saw Piranha 2 where the piranhas can fly. <laughs> I haven't right? seen Piranha they became, 2. They became flying fish. Oh, uh, no, I haven't oh. uh, I haven't seen Piranha 2. What was the... Uh, oh, yeah, there was Piranha 3D. So and then at the end of... John I, ha I had to pause the game to tell you this. At the end of Piranha, remember, they uh, they didn't, like... Uh, the humans weren't able to defeat them all. They, the Piranhas made it into the ocean. Right. They, like, that's escaped right. out yeah, of the rivers out, right. into the ocean. So that's... In uh, Piranha 2, they're out in the ocean attacking people on beaches, and they've learned how to fly. They've learned how to fly. So yeah. they're, like, flying fish. That's fantastic. Yeah. So there was Piranha Oof. 3D with Elizabeth Shue, and then there was Piranha 3 Double D. Did you see that by no. chance? Was that a sequel? That's a sequel to a Piranha sequel? 3D. Wow. Yes. It's John now, I don't like and I don't, that. I don't like 3D movies. Do I have to watch it in 3D? No, not at all. I didn't watch it in 3D. Um, and Piranha 3D is what? fun. Piranha yeah, I just 3 got on my ass. Double D is a is a is a fever dream. It's a John Gilger film. It's the guy that did Feast. It's it's just. It's like insane French cinema. I don't even want to wake up here. Oh I, no, this is this is a bad place to be. That fly is totally waiting to like stomp on you. Uh, you showed him what what. There you go. <laughs> Nicely done. There we go. Maybe the end of the stage there. What's next? Oh, we're in the bamboo jungle. I feel kind of bad. This poor guy's just fishing. Whoa! There you go. Doing some cool stuff there. Get some momentum. Just. Changes things up so much. It's great. Now you're doing a climbing oh. thing. I like ga when games do this and they do it thoughtfully. Uh, Battletoads was pretty good at this. It's like, oh yeah, let's do something different for a while. I mean, those bicycles were, or the cycles were evil, but the thing where you're going down the shaft or jumping from snake to yeah, snake. Yeah, going down the shaft. Yep, yep. <laughs> Damon with the deep cut. There we go. <laughs> Ah, I'm all stuck in here and get killed by... I don't want to get killed by bubbles. Why is that fish wearing a snorkel? It's so not he like can, he needs more So oxygen. he can breathe. <laughs> he doesn't need more areas of fish. These are prehistoric <laughs> fish, Jared. That's a good point. It's That's before true. they developed gills. That's it. That's how it worked. So it's a little little bit of a Paleozoic menace there. All right, there we go. With this guy. Oh, Oh, nice. Good. That was a generous hitbox there. Not make it up there. You can do it. You can do it. This game is fun. Oh no! Oh, I don't understand oh. what's happening here. I, I can't hit this guy. Why can I not head bunk that guy? Ooh, got a little life there. All right. So I don't think those things can be damaged. They're just obstacles. Take your time here. There you go. Oh, I got some life going on. I need to make it up there. Oh no! At least you've already got the hole knocked in the thing. I think you'll be fine. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Get that flower. Oh, kick, yeah. Is he taking me to, like, a bonus round? I forget what happens here. Grab it. Grab, Grab items. items. Jump and spin. Okay. okay. Oh, you're going to do your, your in-the-air thing. Yeah. Build, okay. So here's where you use that. So now you can... Oh, no. I'm spinning. Something. Oh, I was oh, pressing the wrong button. Oh, no. I... Oh. Go back the other way, Bonk. No, Bonk. Uh, <laughs> it was like, curse you, bonk. Ooh, you can land on some of those uh, clouds. Okay, well, I didn't do too much there, but now I know. Now I know what to do. And knowing is... Half the, the battle. Half the battle, at the very least. This guy, oh, he's going to start throwing projectiles at you. Another thing I, like, I like about bonk is it kind of reminds me of um, of uh, Adventure Island. It's got that vibe, but it's more colorful and it's more fun. Uh there we go. Kind of the, now, the later Adventure Island games are actually pretty cool. And I think that uh, Bonk does draw some from those. Uh, the, uh, you know, Hudson was uh, Adventure Island. Hudson also Oof. had a lot to do with what happened here with Bonk. So you see that kind of... There's a bit of lineage there, I think. I think it was Red Company that actually designed this along with Atlas. But you can definitely see the influence. Get out of here. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oof. Yeah. This is automatically uh, bouncing me. I wonder if oh, I can okay. do a super bounce. No, I don't think you so. Probably do the, you could probably do a controlled fall there. Nice. Look at that. Get out of here. Let me show that guy's what's what. 
I don't nice. think the points are doing me anything here, but... No, I think I think that's just one of those kind of anachronisms. I don't think the points do anything. You might get extra lives from them, I'm not sure. A lot of games had points. What's the last game where you really cared about points? Uh, Pac-Man Championship Edition DX. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, any of those online leaderboard games. DX, um, uh, when Geo Wars was new. Ugh. You know right. what, Damon? I think you life. gave the people... Oh, wait, you still got another yep. life. Look at that. I was a little worried there. I thought we were done, but you've gone far. There you go. It's just so delightful. Yeah. I think you'd make a good video game, Damon. I would make a good video game? Absolutely. I think you would produce you a very I'm, good video game. You think I'm capable of making one? Yeah, I think you could design. You, you, you just, you're always seem so delighted. Like, you get this big grin on your face while you've been playing this. And I think you like whimsy and wonder and great music. That's an extra life! Did you have... Oh my god! Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. There you go. Nice. Oh, these guys are evil. Yeah. Really don't like those guys. This is yeah. The difficulty is now ramping up. Ooh. Need some life here, my friend. Oh, what? One. Why am I? They're like killing me with one hit. Well, we got that extra life. I'm glad we did. I think that's where we came from. I think we gotta go underneath all this. Yeah. Look at that jerk. Man, Ancient World is rough. Man, two in a row? I would like to see this series come back. Somebody could absolutely make a good bonk game today. Like, this is one of those lost Hudson franchises that along with, uh, uh, when Konami bought Hudson, uh, a bunch of good game franchises were just kind of lost in limbo, and then Konami doesn't seem particularly interested in making video games yeah. uh, for uh, for uh, consoles or Steam platforms all that much anymore. Maybe that'll change, but this is one of those uh, great properties that's just kind of kind of stuck in an IP hole. I'd really like to see it come out. Stuck in the IP hole. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, I am just I'm I'm letting us have zingers today. Get on top of these. Goodness I don't gracious. I know which way I'm supposed to go here. Oh, I love I the term of 16. I just want to... I sold my fairly extensive PC Engine collection uh, but to move to San Francisco, and I am regretting it right now. Oh, I have to go down there you here. Go. Oh, look, the hamburger arrow. It's telling you where to go. Oh, careful. You have you have a sliver of life. Yeah. Right. Bonk may not be long for this world. Oh. Well. <laughs> in the battle at Hatchet and Head. Oh, yep. but game over in space. He falls asleep in space. If only Damon, we could this all was end up just sleeping in space. That would be okay. I mean, if that were eternity. Doesn't sound so bad. No, it doesn't sound bad at all. If that's eternity, I'm okay with that. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a look at Bunk's Revenge on TurboGrafx-16. Yeah. Stay tuned for more uh, GameScoop plays and for more GameScoop here at IGN.